That's so... Wow, all right. <laughs> what else do you want him to do? Like, what else is there? This show's so f***ed up, dude. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, and today I'm watching Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 9, for the very first time. Before I get into the episode, I'm going to talk about a few things, so if you're just here for the reaction, feel free to skip ahead, no big deal. If you guys would like to see the full-length reactions to this or any other episode, head over to my Patreon, link is in the description, and along with getting full-length versions, you also get one to two weeks early access to new episodes as well. I also have full-length versions of my Harry Potter reactions. If you guys are interested in that, you know where to find it. And not only that, it does help support me and the channel and help me make more of these for you guys, and I would really appreciate it. And you guys don't have to do this, but if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any reactions from me, I would greatly appreciate that as well. It really does help me and the channel grow. I just recently broke 1,500 subscribers, so I want to thank you guys so much. That's incredible. I did not expect that, especially this quickly. My new goal is 2,500 subscribers by the end of March, and you can help me get there. All you have to do is subscribe. Thank you so much if you do. Guys, I don't want to talk too much before I get into this. I'm really excited. I want to see what happens. Uh, we left Ned in the dungeon, basically. Uh, Sansa was asking the Queen and Joffrey to, like, not kill him, you know, and she was pleading for his life. We had Jon and Sam getting sworn into the Brotherhood of the Night's Watch, which is cool. Even though Jon didn't get the position he wanted. But I think I agree with Sam in the fact that they're probably grooming him for command because... I mean, why else would they pick him for that job, right? I mean, he is insanely overqualified for that position. There's no way they kill off Ned the first season. That would be insane. There is a chance, you know, Joffrey seems unhinged, uh, maybe sociopathic. He, he doesn't come off. I mean, I don't think Joffrey can be controlled. That's my biggest fear. Um, so it is definitely possible that they kill Ned, but I just don't see it happening. I think I think maybe Rob shows up or maybe he escapes or someone helps him escape, something along those lines. But yeah, guys, I want to see what happens. So let's grab a snack, grab a drink, get comfy. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, guys. Episode 9, Baylor. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's a person or a machine or what. I'm praying that Ned somehow makes it out this episode. We just... It's been frustrating me, but... Oh, we have a new uh, location. The Twins. Kind of bridge, alright. I want to see a live performance of this uh, song by like an orchestra or something. That'd be so awesome. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Yeah, there's like different directors all the time. I think. Oh, is that Ned? Yeah. Seen better days, my lord. Another visit. Sansa came to court this morning to plead for your life. You did? On her knees begging for me. Hmm. Did he laugh with the others? No, he defended you. Can you free me from this bed? I could, but will I? No. Dude, why would you even say that then? Did you know that your son is marching south with an army of Northmen? Rob, he's just a boy. Boys have hmm. been conquerors before. Lord Stannis has the best claim to the throne. Stannis Baratheon is Robert's true heir. The throne is his by rights. We haven't met him yet, right? Yeah. You want me to serve the woman who murdered my king, who butchered my men, who crippled my son? I want you to serve the realm. Here's a point. Tell your son to lay down his sword and proclaim Joffrey as the true heir. Oh, man. How is he going to, like, forget all that, though? You think my life is some precious thing to me? That I would trade my honor for a few more years of, of war? Being a dad? I don't know. What about your kids, dude? When I grew up with soldiers, I learned how to die a long time ago. How does one learn how to die? Such a pity. Is Ned really not gonna survive this? What of your daughter's life, my lord? Is that a precious thing to you? That'll get him to do it. Tell Cersei and the king, like, you love them and you'll go to the wall and never do anything bad ever again or something? Who's that? Robin Hood? That's a good shot. 
We need to cross the Trident, and we need to do it now. Tywin Lannister marches north as we speak. Enter the twins alone. He'll sell you to the Lannisters as he likes. These guys are like bridge trolls. I'll go. You can't. I have known Lord Walder since I was a girl. He would never harm me. What? So she knows this guy. Okay. It is a great pleasure to see you again after so many years, my lord. Oh, spare me. That's the guy from Harry Potter, right? Uh, father, you forget yourself. Lady Stark is... Who asked you? Father, please. I need lessons in courtesy from you, bastard. That's the guy with the cat, right? Mate, if I hadn't squirted you into her belly. <laughs> what? Interesting. That's an insult I've never heard before. Now that I've observed the courtesy. This guy's weird. You could climb your own battlements. You would see that he has 20,000 men. There'd be 20,000 corpses when Tywin Lannister gets here. Joffrey's king now, which makes your boy and his corpses to be nothing but rebels. Give me one good reason why I should waste a single thought on any of you. Because you, you should care, like, I mean, maybe not. That guy doesn't seem like he cares about anything. Wolf was more appropriate. Called Long Claw. Well, pretty cool. It matches his wolf, his white wolf. This is Valyrian steel. The Mormons have carried it for five centuries. It was meant for my son Jorah. He brought dishonor to our house. Jorah. Oh, Jorah Mormont. I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for you and your beast. Dead man tried to kill me. Did they say that before. I'll apologize to Sir Alistair tonight. No, you won't. I sent him to King's Landing yesterday. Puts a thousand leagues between you and Thorn. Nice. This guy's awesome. He's like protecting John. He's trying to figure out what's going on with the White Walker shit. I like this guy. Thank God he's in charge and not Thorn. Can't imagine what it would be like if it was the other way around. Sword! 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 How did they all find out about it? Sam doesn't seem to be too happy. I read the message to Maester Raymond. Uh oh. Is she brother Rob? What? Oh yeah. He's going to war. He's heading south. To war. All his bannermen have rallied to his side. They'll keep him safe. I should be with him. You should, but you <laughs> went to the wall for whatever reason. I mean, I know the reason, but I don't agree with it. Lord Walder has granted your crossing. Nice. His men are yours as well. Whoa. And what does he want in return? Oh, she did great. On his son, Oliver, as your personal squire. He expects a knighthood. And Arya will marry his son, Waldron. He's not going to do that. And? When the fighting is done, you will marry one of his daughters. He has a number he thinks will be suitable. Probably some older ones. Did you get a look at his daughters? I did. And? <laughs> One was... Oh. Well... Can I refuse? Not if you want to cross. Just say you will and then don't, you know? Shit happens, right? Like, what would happen if you just say you will and then you don't? If you win the war, you'll be king. Or, would you be king? I don't even know. But, at that point, who cares what this guy wants? Perhaps you'll be kind enough to assist me. Can that guy see? Did you ever wonder why the men of the Night's Watch take their wives and father no children? So they will not love. Love is the death of duty. Hmm. If the day should ever come when your Lord Father was forced to choose between honor on the one hand and those he loves on the other, what would he do? He would do whatever was right. Good question. In every man's life, there comes a day when he must choose. And this is my day. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I know. You do not know. He might. Pretty old. Been through some stuff. I may be a bastard, but he is my father and Rob is my brother. <laughs> what could I do when the ravens brought the news from the south? The ruin of my house, the death of my family. It's helpless, blind, frail. He's blind, wow. When I heard they had killed my brother's son. And his poor son, and the children, even the little children. Who are you? My father was Micah, the first of his name, when I had refused the throne, and he was followed by his son, Aerys, whom they called the Mad King. 
Aemon Targaryen. <laughs> what? I am a master of the Citadel, bound in service to Castle Black and the Night's Watch. Why is this guy here? I will not tell you. Stay or go. What? You must make that choice yourself and live with it for the rest of your days. This dude's like a legend. As I have. Or maybe not. I don't know. But he's a part of that family. That means he's uh, Daenerys' is like grand uncle, cousin. Something. Whoa. And they show her right after, yeah. That's crazy. And he does have like silver hair. I mean, you could say gray, but. Whoa. Drogo. Oh, that's cool. John was like freaking out, too. Uh oh. Did her healing not work? I'm not. Yeah, give him a second. Like a week, maybe. Oh, man, he doesn't look good. He's, like, fading out. He shouldn't have pressed his, like, arm into that guy's blade. That was kind of stupid. He's trying to show off. We have Cal Drogo almost dead. We have Ned blocked up. Things got bad real quick. I do hope your savages are going to be of some use. A great hairy one insisted he must have two battle axes. Heavy black steel, double-sided. <laughs> when the battle commences, you and your wildlings will be in the vanguard. Me and the tribesmen, on the front lines. They do seem rather ferocious. No. Green is dead. Where did you find one so pretty at this hour? I took her. From whom? From, uh, I don't know. Ginger con, three tenths down. <laughs> Who are you? Who would you like me to be? What did your mother call you? Shay. What did your mother call you? My mother died giving birth to me. Hmm. What sort of accent is that? Foreign. For... You might have guessed. What do I want from you? I want you to take no other man to bed. And I want you to fuck me like it's my last night in this world. Wow. Do I get? One, safety. Two, pleasure of my company. And three more gold than you can spend if you lived a thousand years. Are they like bill like billionaires, or like, like how would you compare it to, like today's uh, wealthy people? Khaleesi. Come, he's very strong. He's about to die. No one understands how strong he is. What does understanding that do? Uh. He will die tonight, Khaleesi. He can't. He can't. I won't let him. Even a queen doesn't have that power. How did this happen? It's been like two days. Why would I run? I am Khaleesi. My son will be Carl after Drogo. This isn't Westeros where men honor blood. Here they only honor strength. That's crazy. Yerjin Zemaigi. Nakai Avosilek Nemena Maziza. Vos. Vos. Ashavka Vos Zali. She tried to help. I think. <laughs> I mean, her legacy is real, but her family's legacy is real. He's beyond the healer skills. All I can do is ease his path. Save him and I will free you, I swear it. You must know a way. Some magic. Well, she is a witch, right? He's a spell. Some would say death is cleaner. God, he looks like he's already on the other side. There is a price. You have gold, whatever you want. It's not a matter of gold. This is blood magic. Only death pays for life. Who? Who's death? My death. No, not your death, Khaleesi. Huh. Bring me his horse. I mean, I love horses, and I don't want a horse to die, but... In this scenario, I feel like it's a great discount. <laughs> that sounded messed up to say. <laughs> this is blood magic. It is forbidden. I am your Khaleesi. I tell you what is forbidden. Okay, that changed my mind. Don't kill the horse. Let him die. <laughs> that horse is beautiful. 
Does this like have a hundred percent success rate, or is this kind of like a coin flip kind of deal? Once I begin to sing, no one must enter the tent. The dead will dance here tonight. Okay, so it's like a ritual where the spirits come alive and all that. No one will enter. Oh, Excuse me. Bring him back to me. Could you have warned me or everyone? I didn't like seeing that. God damn. What have you done? I have to save him. That was insane. Is away from here by now on the way to Ashai. You would have been safe. <sighs> now what? She's not safe? Voseo. Yerevi. Maigi. Koto Vosa. Oh shit. Yo, she's pregnant, bro. I mean, he has armor, you don't. But maybe it just slows him down? Oh, fuck. Okay, this guy knows what he's doing. Oh, okay. Alright, Jora, you know what you're doing too. You didn't even need the armor. Well, actually, he did, like, catch his blade on it, so... I take that back. They'll come or I'll have their heads. I hope her baby's alright. She can bring baby. I hear her say so. Don't bring a baby in there. She said no one goes in. No, 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 no. There's other women around that could do this. Why? Are you an agony, my lion? Fire is burning your pretty soft skin. <laughs> <laughs> Are you immune to pain? Just used to it. Just used to it, damn. Play a new game. There's a Bravo C knife game I could teach you. No fire games, no knife games. Let's do something I'm good at. What are you good at? I happen to be a great judge of character. He's also funny. Bronfest, your father beat you. <laughs> what? That's a wild first statement. But my mother hit hard. <laughs> you killed your first man before you were 12. It was a woman. Or he was 12? You once loved a woman many years ago, but it turned out badly, so you've never let yourself love again. Oh wait, that's me. Projecting a little bit? I don't want to play. It's fun. Look at the fun we're having. Your mother was a whore. Dude. Drink. Can't just say that. Wow. Swear she didn't slap him. Your father left the family when you were very young, never to return. Drink. And we've established the rules about lying. Drink. But he was good at judging character, I guess not. You wanted a different life. You came from somewhere and you wanted to be elsewhere. The old shit stained world could drink off that one. Right, so specifics. True. You wanted to be elsewhere, but how would you get there? What's a low-born girl to do? Drink. Is she sure? Drink. Were some of those true? And she's just like not interested? And don't talk about my mother and father ever. Or I will carve your eyes from your head. Oh my god, I believe that. My turn. Fine. Fine. Try to penetrate the enigma that is me. <laughs> Our Lord, he used to be married. Another night, perhaps. It's not a pleasant story. The lady and I can tell more unpleasant stories than your lordship. I was 16. My brother Jamie and I were riding when we heard a scream. She ran out onto the road. She was too scared to send off on her own, so while Jamie hunted down the rapers, I took her to the nearest inn and fed her. Hmm. Together we finished off three chickens and a flagon of wine. Damn. And somehow I found myself in her bed. For three chickens? I should hope so. <laughs> but she was good to me. She kissed me afterwards, and, and by morning I was deep enough in love to ask for her hand. A few lies, a few gold coins, one drunken septon, and there you have it, man and wife. Fortnight anyway, until the septon sobered up and told my father. Oh. First my father had Jamie tell me the truth. The girl was a whore, you see. Jamie had arranged the whole thing. Rude, the rapers. Why? After my brother confessed, my father brought in my wife and gave her to his guards. Oh. He paid her well, silver for each man. 
He brought me into the barracks and made me watch. She had so much silver that the coins were slipping through her fingers. What the hell? That's so messed up. You should have known she was a whore. Really? A girl who was almost raped doesn't invite another man into her bed two hours later. Hmm. That makes sense, though. I think that's my cue. All right. Damn, that's a messed up story. Maybe that's why he drinks so much. I don't know. What is it? What do you want? You're sleeping through the wall. They're a mile north. Oh, no. And they got to go to the front. Uh-oh. Stay low. Stay low. <laughs> if you're lucky, no one will notice you. I was born lucky. That's so... Wow, all right. <laughs> Is he good? <laughs> Wait, did he just like get lucky? Battle's over? Is he... Yeah, he's alive. He's gotta be. Wow, that was the luckiest thing that's ever happened to anyone that's about to go to war. And he did stay low. I mean, he was as low as he can get on the ground. Wow. You're a shit warrior. You're alive. He survived. He out-survived a lot of people, okay? Better warrior than most. Wait, so Rob lost? I thought they were going to show a battle. Wait. You're wounded. Good of you to notice. The scouts were wrong. There were 2,000 Stark Bannermen, not 20. Huh? That's not right. Boy, at least. He wasn't here. Where was he? With his other 18,000 men. Oh. And where are they? That's interesting. Like a diversion or something. What is... I don't understand what's happening. Where were they fighting? Uh, wait. By the time they knew what was happening, it had already happened. No. <laughs> oh God. Lady Stark. Holy it shit. Your sword, but I seem to have lost it. It is not your sword I want. Give me my daughters back. Where he doesn't have them. We could end this war right now, boy. You fight for the Starks. I fight for the Lannisters. And let's end this here and now. You would like that. He aren't you like the best warrior in the world? We do it your way, Kingslayer. You'd win. We're not doing it your way. Rob is on it right now. You can't look. You can't outsmart this guy right now. I sent two thousand men to their graves today. The bards will sing songs of their sacrifice. Aye. Nice. But the dead won't hear them. You got to think about the positives, okay? You got Jamie. One victory does not make us conquerors. Did we free my father? Did we rescue my sisters from the queen? Sister, but no. I think he's gonna win this war. He's like confident, but not too confident. He's smart. He's obviously a warrior, a good warrior. He just battled and survived. So I don't know. I have a lot of faith in him. Oh, she's. Uh, don't eat that. That's so disgusting. Can I have one? A lemon one, or any of them? Three coppers. How about a nice fat pigeon? Oh, piss off now. <laughs> Yeah, okay, he's gonna trade his bread for a pigeon. Today, only burnt ones. Piss off. Find Aladdin, he'll help you. Hey, where's everyone going? What's happening? They're taking him to the Shepherd of Baylor. Who? The hand of the king. Oh. Baylor, Sept of Baylor. It's like a okay, a statue or something. Oh, so now we're gonna figure out. Is he gonna apologize and kiss their you know what? Or I mean he could he could apologize and they might not give a that's the sad part. That's what I'm worried about. I just feel like Joffrey doesn't care, you know? Man, he's got that limp, too. Is he gonna see her? I think he did. Yeah. Alright, at least he knows she's alive. That's good. Okay. Oh, he like... Redirected his attention to see that Arya was there. I wonder if he's gonna. I remember that guy. Wasn't he uh, with Tyrion at some point or something? This can't be happening. Come on. Come on. Do it. For your daughters. 
I come before you to confess my treason. Okay, yes, here we go. He's saved. I betrayed the faith of my king and the trust of my friend Robert. I plotted to murder his son and seize the throne for myself. Oh my god. Yeah, if someone believes that, they're insane. But good job for saying it. Let the High Septon and Baelor the Blessed bear witness to what I say. Joffrey Baratheon is the one true heir to the Iron Throne. Nice. Look at his stroke in his ego. Perfect. He could barely say it, too. He barely got it out. Perfect. Good job, dude. I know that was tough, but... The gods are just. Beloved Baelor taught us they can also be merciful. Right. What is to be done with this traitor? I think I think he's gonna say, "All right, send him to the wall." My mother wishes me to let Lord Eddard join the Night's Watch. Yes, dude. And my lady Sansa has begged mercy for her father. Perfect. We're all good now, right? But they have the soft hearts of women. So long as I am your king, treason shall never go unpunished. Sir Illyn, bring me his head. Who <laughs> do you? Are you? What else do you want him to do? Like, what else is there? No! You're fucking kidding me, dude. I swear, if Ned dies right now... Dude. Come on. Someone who's there's got to be someone that's gonna save him. I don't, someone in the crowd, a knight behind him, Arya. Not like this. Not like this. Come on, where? Anybody? Jump! It's just throw. This show's so fucked up, dude. I just don't understand. Oh, man. You guys love this show. I, You must love it for a reason after this episode. I'm going to stick with it. I love it still. I think... um. I'm going to finish this one here, guys. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm really sorry. I'm sure there's a lot more to talk about. I mean, I know there is for that episode, but... Uh, Ned deserved better. Ned deserves so much better than that. He should have just gone out telling the truth, you know? It wasn't worth it. I know he had to say it to potentially not die, but like, God. Be dishonorable for one time in his life. What an episode, guys. What a fucking episode. I'm out. I'm so out. <laughs>